Hey YouTube, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. I wanted to do a video on the cat tourniquet talking about time. Time as meaning when the cat tourniquet is applied. I get asked questions all the time about when I apply a cat tourniquet, how long do I have before the, the limb is threatened, and can I loosen it, do I leave it tight? I get asked these quite frequently, so I wanted to do a video and just answer a couple of those questions for you guys. So as you can see here on the cat tourniquet, it does have a place to write the time that you apply the tourniquet. And that's what this video is mainly talking about is time. I've done a video on how to apply it. Um, there's a ton of videos on, out there on YouTube on how to apply it, but we're going to talk about the time. Generally speaking, the time frame for the tourniquet is two to six hours. After you apply it, then you start really looking into the possibility of losing the extremity or some dangerous things happening inside the extremity. Um, there's one case study that I found that the tourniquet was applied up to 16 hours and they had good success with getting full neurological function back into the extremity. Um, I do know they use tourniquets in surgery for long periods of time and they've been doing that for a while now. But pre-hospital, in the field, you're looking at somewhere between two to six hours before you start running into problems. Of course, saying with two to six hours, you always want to be on the lesser end of that. You know, I would rather if I could get a patient to the hospital and get them to surgery in two hours than six, of course, I'd much rather have them than two hours. So here we are talking about between two to six hours, then you start building up toxins, the extremity is going to get acidotic, um, and you're, you're preventing blood flow, which carries, of course carries oxygen, so you're not getting oxygen to the extremity, um, and it's getting acidotic. So there's a whole lot of chemical imbalances going on with the extremity that they're going to have to fix beyond just fixing the extremity and getting um, blood flow back. They're going to have to fix the pH level of the body. Now, as far as do you loosen the tourniquet, do you leave it secured once you get blood flow stopped? There's really two schools of thought here. One is being you can apply the tourniquet, you get bleeding control, you pack the wound with a hemostat agent such as quick clot, combat galls, you pack the wound, and then you can try and release this. If the bleeding is controlled, you recheck your patient every five minutes, it's controlled, then yes, you can release this. If you have some kind of uh, clotting agent that's packed in the wound to help the body with the clotting process. And the other school of thought is, no, that once you have the tourniquet tied tight, it's secure, bleeding is controlled, then no, then you don't loosen it. Um, you let surgery do it. So I can see both sides of the story. If it's going to be a long period of time where you're, this is going to be applied, this is painful. This hurts. And, of course, so does packing a wound. But if you can pack the wound and release the tourniquet to make sure, 100% sure, that you're, there's no bleeding going on, then that's your decision. But if you're applying this tourniquet, it's a life-threatening injury. We've talked about this. You're not applying this just for some minor cut. The patient is fixing to die if you do not apply this tourniquet. So then you're talking about life over limb. So I would rather save someone's life and they lose their arm than for me to let them die. So life over limb comes into play. So that's a decision that you're going to have to make. Here we go. We saved your life. Thank you for watching. You never know when you'll be the first responder.